Alrighty guys, so we're gonna start off with this match in the video and we're gonna do it for one sole reason Guys, everybody right now is uploading videos about the Nordic deck. Everybody, everywhere I go, Master Duel, Nordic deck, the best Nordic deck, the Nordic deck profile. So much fun, guys. Nordic deck is fun. I've played against it so many times, and I was actually going to build a Nordic deck myself before Thor Love and Thunder came out because I was going to do like a Thor Love and Thunder theme and do the Nordic deck because it has Loki and Thor and Odin in them. And so I wanted to do that. For when the movie came out, I thought it was a pretty cool, fun idea, but I, I just couldn't build the deck because I, I, I couldn't afford to build it. And so we scrapped the idea, guys. But anyways, this is the fourth Ojama deck added to the family, guys. It's official. I'm adding this deck to the family. I actually think it might be the best one just because of all the options and the options to unbrick. It's wild. It's wild. I'm having such a blast. It's actually doing very good, very good in this event. I've only lost really to the to the time limit which is horrible and also guys i just thought you know what everyone's doing nordic so ojama adventure versus nordic adventure let's go and another thing guys is look at this guy's name you will rage quit i will rage quit excuse me anyways guys he's got an adventure engine as well so he's going nordic adventure i'm doing ojama adventure really i'm doing like ojama adventure arm dragon and all this shenanigans super rogue but anyways he's going the typical adventure uh the adventure engine here so he's doing his plays and i just thought it was really cool uh i've encountered maybe two nordic decks in this event the nordic deck that i faced though was yesterday and i couldn't go back to that replay because it was too late anyways he's doing this he's activating his combos now i'm scared that he's gonna be able to search his trap card because that he searched the guys that trap card right there is extremely powerful that's like the go-to trap card for this deck but i don't know if he misplayed i don't know if he didn't have the cards in his deck he just end turn here so he didn't summon an azer card he did not a azer a sure i don't know how you say that he did not summon one so he didn't set the trap card because he couldn't activate it he had a tuner on the board so i i, I don't know what happened there but you know what mm, my gain like his loss so anyway we go ahead and activate this now we are we are aware that he does have a negate so we're trying to bait out the negate here so I activate Rite of Aramisir, he negates Rite of Aramisir. So the negate is officially gone here. So we go ahead and summon our Griffin. We go ahead and do Draco back. Uh, we go ahead and summon him, we activate. Now we do this so that we can crash into the token. And my my uh, Griffin won't, will not be destroyed because he has protection. We go ahead and do this so that we can get rid of the continuous spell back there because we're not having that mess. We get rid of Tempest because we don't need him. We can activate him in Grave if we have to. We do our search and we end our turn here, guys. Now, we didn't we didn't 100% have the upper hand here, uh, but I was feeling pretty confident. I felt pretty confident we'd make a comeback the following turn. Anyways, he does this. He goes ahead and does this. Go ahead and sends back to the hand. Uh, he finally goes into the tuner. He goes into Herald of Arclight. So now I'm a little scared here because we might not be able to play around it. He might be able to play. He can play around a droplet now. Um, he goes ahead and activates this. And... He activates this i guess at this point he either misplayed or couldn't go for what he what he wanted to go for so he rage quit so he you will rage quit rage quit very awesome guys i just i really the 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 match was very lackluster i just wanted to include it because everybody's doing nordic 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 right now so i was able to add my own nordic uh, uh spin to this video guys Alrighty, guys so this match i'm actually very hyped to show you I'm very hyped to show you guys this match and to talk about it. So here's the deal, guys. We bricked hard. We can we can normal summon White Dragon Head and do absolutely nothing. We can't do anything with Avian. Uh, we can't do anything with Tempest. Now, we could special summon him having to send both of these to Grave, but we don't want to do that. Pile Arm Dragon, we can send Avian. That's the only play we have, but then we can't go Infinite Gates because we don't have another Arm Dragon. We could send this to special summon Tempest. Uh, the thing is is that then we couldn't go infinite negates and we don't have an ojama card to activate oja match So we bricked pretty bad here. The opponent just ends turn. I don't know When when people do this, it's just crazy to me But the bad thing is guys is going first is weak for ojama So he did nothing so we can't crash with ojama blue We can't go ojama blue combo going full combo now becomes a challenge Anyways guys, we drew oja simulation. We could send it and use Oja match, but instead I decided to go pile arm dragon because the odds are in our favor here. Worst case scenario, we can go infinite negates now with Oja simulation. We just wouldn't be able to go A to Z here. 
So I take the risk. I special summon Power Arm Dragon, activate Power Arm Dragon's effect, sending level 3 so that I can draw a card. I end up drawing a card, and I end up drawing Oja Magic, guys. That's it. That's full combo. That is all we need. Guys, that is all we need to go full combo here, being able to skip Ojama Blue. The Oja we can skip the Ojama Blue combo here, guys, with the cards we have now. We can skip the Ojama Blue because we already have Infinite Negates. Infinite Negates is secured, guys. We have an Oja Simulation. We're able to bring out Apollo or whatever we want. We're able to activate Oja Match. The only thing is we need, we need another Oja Simulation, guys, but there is a way we search for that. So anyway, I send Oja Magic. We go ahead and fill up our hand here. So we have full combo because we have Arm Dragon level 5 in hand now. We go ahead and get the rewards from Oja Magic. We haven't done our normal summon, guys. So we are going to go and search. We want to do Soul Ryuja here. We want to increase our odds here. Now, guys, the odds aren't that bad. Well, think about this. We're drawing four cards out of a 34 card deck. If you want to know, you you guys know what the odds are, right? When you draw five cards in a 40 card deck when, when it's your turn. So imagine the odds now drawing four cards out of 34 card deck. It's like you're drawing a whole new hand, except you select what you want to keep. So, guys, and so this is why it's very consistent with Soul Ryuji. A lot of people might say, oh, that's luck because of what you drew. And yeah, a lot of it is luck. But at the same time, you have to remember that it's four cards in a 34 card deck. We are literally drawing a whole, it's like we're drawing a whole new hand here with the same odds. Anyway, we get the other Oja Simulation. We're going full combo, baby. That's it. We do Oja match. We send blue. The reason I'm doing this is because I need the additional Ojamas. We, I think that, that made the sixth Ojama there. We go ahead and uh, normal summon Arm Dragon level three. We're able to do Oja Simulation here. We're able to bring all the pieces out to ABC, guys. So again, if you doubt, if you doubt that, oh, that's luck. It's the same thing as why you play three ofs, the cards you absolutely need in your hand. Because when you open, when you draw five cards on a 40 card deck, there's very good odds. I think it's like, what, 20, 20, 25% chance. So imagine four out of, out of 34 cards. We're looking really good. Anyways, we go ahead and do this. Bring out IP. So guys, we're doing the typical combo here. From IP, we go ahead and go into Apollo. That way now we can avoid, before we continue the combo, we want to avoid the Nibiru. So now we can. We go ahead and activate this, bringing out Tempest. Go ahead and go into Tomahawk, and then we go the rest of the way. Now guys, we actually get, we get impermed here. We actually get impermed here, which is crazy. So he he has officially stopped infinite negates. There's no way I can stop that imperm. He has officially stopped infinite negates here. If he didn't have that imperm, we would have infinite negates on the board. It would be at play. But luckily, guys, we are not out of options. We still have so many negates to offer this man. Now, the reason I didn't go for game here is because when I activated Pile Arm Dragon's effect, I was only going to be able to attack once anyway. If not, I could have actually just gone for game. Uh, so again, if you guys are thinking, why didn't I go for game? I could only attack with one monster because of Power Arm Dragon's effect. Anyway, we do this. We go and search for a, uh, a, uh, XYZ. We do this. We get out ABC. We go ahead and get out A to Z. We go ahead and draw our cards so that we maximize the amount of negates we get. He's only got four cards in his hand. And we end turn, guys. So we have three negates with A to Z. He's only got four cards in his hand. And then we have per four negates per chain with Apollo. Anyway, guys, he got, he has a kaiju. Again, this is why we go infinite negates. We go infinite negates because if he kaiju does, we'd still be in a safe spot. He activates this, he gets his kaiju back, and he kaijus us again, guys. Our negates are out. But that's it. That's the only play he got. So a lot of people also, when they say, oh, you get kaiju I got kaiju twice, and this is the only play he had. Anyways, we're in a pretty safe spot here because what I do is I go ahead and bring out Phoenix. I want to get rid of the back row because I fear the back row. So we get rid of that. It's another Imperm, no big deal. It, uh, we go ahead and activate Tempest here. We go ahead and send uh, Banish. We summon him. We do our normal summon, guys, and we go into Unicorn. We go into Unicorn. We go ahead and spin here, and then we end the game by going into Access Code. We go into Access Code, and guys, that is game. So, uh, I really, really wanted to showcase this duel, guys, because this duel is actually pretty awesome. It shows that I was able to summon A to Z without the blue combo, because it is very doable, especially when you have Skull Dread and you're starting to slim down the deck. You, it's very, very doable. 
And so I summoned in this duel, as you saw, I summoned A to Z without the blue combo and we still played through two Kaijus, guys. I am just loving this deck. Alrighty, guys, so just another replay of this Ojama Adventure deck. Now, guys, this is actually, we're going second. We actually have a, a this to me is a very decent hand. Ojama Blue can't be blossomed. We have Dark Ruler no more for negates on the board. As long as he plays a monster in attack mode, we, we can destroy the back row. This is a very ideal hand. Blossom can't stop us. Negates on the board can't stop us. We can destroy the back row. We have Oja Simulation as a worst case. And then we have Rite of Aramis here for the one card combo, one card negate, one card bounce. Uh two card two to three card link like this is this is a very good hand this is a very ideal hand it's not the best hand but it's a very ideal hand anyway guys incredible ecclesia what are we playing here we oh we're playing sword soul we're playing sword soul the one trick ponies uh guys i've actually come i, I used to hate sword soul I, i've come to kind of appreciate how good sword soul can actually be like you could actually make a sword soul rogue deck not really a rogue but you know kind of with the tenny and stuff and and you know the extra deck and you can actually make sword soul uh, sword souls actually uh, i've kind of learned to like it a little bit like it, it's not a bad deck um it's also not the most broken but you can definitely make that deck super broken with certain cards and so anyways my respect for sword souls kind of grown just a little bit it's it's sword souls never seem to be an issue for me but i've kind of learned to appreciate the how how neat the combos are how easy they are and if you if you're very versatile I've kind of learned to appreciate the different combos they can come up with, which is pretty, pretty insane. It's pretty insane. That might just be a me thing, guys, or it could just be that there's these new cards out that Sword Soul no longer is really a big deal. Anyways, guys, not a very impressive board. Usual Sword Soul board. Not super impressive. He's got a negate. He's got a negate. And then he probably has his trap card that can destroy uh, the double the double cards on the field. Anyway, guys, we draw an Ojamo Black. Doesn't matter. We can we 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 just we're loving what we have here. We activate Dark Ruler no more. His effect monsters are now worthless. We destroy the back row. What was the back row? It was actually a droplet. It was actually a droplet because which could be very useful. Um, but we were able to destroy it. We activate Rite of Aramisir. Let's see if he's got he does not have the blossom, guys. So now we just guarantee here whatever we want. He actually does have the blossom. He waited to activate it. That that's act that's very interesting. Wow. I would have activated the Blossom on, on Rite of Aramisir and then just completely avoided all of this. Th that's interesting, he did that. I didn't remember he did that. Okay, he activated it. Okay, that, that's weird. I don't know why he did that. That, <sighs> wow. Wow, maybe he needs to go back and look at the Adventure Engine. Wow, I would have just done it on Rite of Aramisir and then you would have avoided that completely. Not that it would have changed anything. Um, now in this case, uh, it, not that it would have changed anything because I drew, I got two Oja matches, two Oja matches. So if he would have done Blossom on this Oja match, I would have just pitched Oja match or, or I guess send Oja match from the field with this Oja match for its cost. And then we would have still had the combo, but I'm just surprised he waited anyway. So we go into the typical Ojama blue combo here again, no matter what he would have played on his board. If he would have had a load on the board, if he would have had Herald of Arclight on the board, no matter what he had on the board, guys, we had Dark Ruler in this case. So uh, there's nothing he could have had on that board that would have stopped this combo. Maybe going into defense mode could have possibly stopped the combo. But at the same time, I might have still been able to go into something here. Anyways, we go ahead and go and do this because now we're going full combo. I have to send Oja Magic so that we have enough Ojamas. We go ahead and summon Ojama Red, normal summon Ojama Red there. We get to take advantage of this. We go ahead and do this so that we can go ahead and get out IP. Now, guys, I feel very safe here. He's negated. He's used He's used his Blossom. I feel safe here about not needing a negate. If he Nibiru'd us at this point, it still wouldn't be a big deal. So now we go ahead and do this. We go ahead and summon this. Now we go ahead and go into IP here. Now he definitely can't Nibiru us. We go ahead and activate this. The reason I, I said he couldn't Nibiru us earlier is because I, I, I could have still gone ABC. I could have still summoned ABC even if he Nibiru us the turn before. It wouldn't have stopped the combo whatsoever. But now he can't Nibiru us. Now we go in into Infinite Negate. So that's why I'm loving this deck a lot. Like there's so many choke points in the combo now that aren't really choke points. Like in the older decks, there was certain choke points in the combo where if you stopped us or if you absolutely Nibiru'd us at one point, we would be stuck. And now we can kind of, 
we kind of don't have to play around a lot of that stuff anymore which is why i'm really liking this deck and i'm really liking the adventure engine because if they don't stop it early and even if they do it's getting rid of those resources it's insanity now you guys know this play already you've probably seen it a million times if you're new to the channel guys just watch the older videos or what keep watching the videos this is the typical infinity gates combo the typical a to z combo um and it's crazy anyways we go a to z here we go ahead and activate this guys we're hoping to get the og magic or the droplet that's what we're hoping to draw here again keep keep in mind it's 21 cards you guys are pretty good we get an ojama blue it is what it is we go ahead and go for the draw again and we get an ojama black we go ahead and go abc we go ahead and banish this card we set and that's it guys we're able to bring out some more now look at this end board these are the usual end board guys we have four negates per chain with ip we have the infinite negates as always a to z only has two negates here but we also have called by the grave just in case as well as if he decides to crash for some reason we have some protection here with this equip card as well so th this is pretty good board let's see what he does and that's it guys can't do nothing he can't do anything this is beautiful now i do want to say guys when i did this combo i think i had 10 seconds on the clock so if he could have activated stuff i may not have enough time to have negated everything i only had like 10 seconds on the clock i believe in this play all right guys this is the deck list ojama adventure two ojama greens two ojama yellows two ojama blacks x head cannon ojama red three ojama blue miss valley thunderbird arm dragon thunder level three water enchantress y dragon head z metal tank rescue cat a assault core b buster drake c crush wyvern arm dragon thunder level five miss valley apex avian tempest dragon ruler of the storms uh, Pile Arm Dragon, uh, Wondering Griffin, Harpy's Feather Duster, two Oja Magics, o Oja Simulation, three of them, three Dark Ruler No More, two Rite of Aramisir, one Draco Back, one Faithful Adventure, Twin Twisters, one, one Cosmic Cyclone, three Oja Matches, one Called By, and three Forbidden Droplets. For the extra deck, we have XYZ, ABC Dragon Buster, A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon, Number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk, Link Spider, Nightmare Phoenix, Harpy Conductor, IP Mascarena, Union Carrier, Nightmare Unicorn, Zamorg Bird of, yes, Skull Dread, Apollo, Access Code Talker, and Underworld Goddess. Guys, if you guys want a guide for this deck, let me know with a bunch of likes and in, in the comment section, and I will make a guide video for this deck, but it is my all-time favorite deck out of all four decks. Um, just because it's it's become very consistent it's harder to brick because when you brick you still have plays which is pretty nice especially if you draw into an adventure card because the adventure engine in itself is a one card negate a bounce um, and then you can summon up to two monsters when you normal summon now you have a link three and potentially on what you have in hand even a link four which now becomes a whole bunch of plays anyway guys uh please like the video comment subscribe if not i appreciate you guys watching this video at least thank you so much remember we have a tournament september 10th saturday it's free to join 4 p.m central standard time and there is a first place prize all the links will be down below guys to my twitch my tiktok my twitter and everything else thank you guys so much you guys are legends i really appreciate it stay tuned for the videos it's going to show on the screen please check those out i would really appreciate that as well